This tutorial is an introduction to ESRI's Story Map application. The Story Map application consists of interactive web maps along with accompanying text and other multimedia that produce a user experience around a particular topic of interest. In this case, I've created a Story Map journal application about psychics and spiritualists in Massachusetts. You'll see that it has a map on the right hand side. This is called the main stage uh, of the application and it's an interactive map of course. I can zoom in and pan around and it also consists of layers that I can click on and cause actions to happen. In this case pop-ups with come up information as well as hyperlinks to other material. On the left hand side is a text that accompanies this particular main stage application. This is the side panel. The entire application consists of seven sections in this particular case. We're here on the home page which you can see on the left each of the sections that we can move to. And we advance to the sections either by scrolling down or by clicking on the advance button on the far left. When we advance to a new section we can see that the main stage changes along with the side panel. They are, they are associated with one another. In this case, unlike the first home page main stage, I have a static image rather than interactive map. The main stage can accommodate both interactive maps and static images as well as YouTube videos and even web pages. As we advance to a new section, uh, we can see other uh, elements of the application that we can employ. In this case, I'm using interactive map again, but you'll notice that I've changed the layers that are visible here. I've added a new population density layer in this particular map, and it is active with information as well as the points that I highlighted in the first um, map. On the side panel, I've added links that allow me to initiate action within the main stage by clicking on them. In this case, if I click on this, this particular link, I'll activate a pop-up and also change the extent and the layers that are visible in the main stage. So you can control what happens in the main stage in a lot of different ways uh, with these main stage actions on the side panel. You can also change the view in the main stage uh, with these uh, main stage action items to incorporate into the side panel. In this case, uh, when I click on it, I switch maps and, and look at different kinds of layers that I want to uh, visualize. The side panels can, of course, be altered just as like any web page. We can incorporate multimedia in them, uh, static images, as well as internal and external links. Uh, and, of course, we can always bring in even more dynamic multimedia in this case things like YouTube videos that allow us to um, incorporate uh, multimedia in different ways. In order to understand how this thing works, um, it's, it's important to see that, there are, that the web app application essentially consists of two basic pieces. Uh, what we're seeing or what we're interacting with is the, what, what ESRI calls the web app application. This is the interface that consists of a main stage and the side panel. But in addition to that, you need to actually construct the um, interactive maps ahead of time, and these are web maps. And these web maps are, con are composed or created independently of the web map application. In fact, they can be freestanding applications that you can share with users. But when you're constructing a web map application, what you're trying to do is bring these in so they're visible and then can, they can be interacted with. So at the very least, what you're working with is the web app application Again, this interface, this website essentially that you visit, and then also the web maps, which allow the user to interact with data that you've pre-prepared for them uh, to look at. And of course, you can always bring in other kinds of multimedia that you want to incorporate. In the following videos, I'm going to walk through the process of how I created this web map application from start to finish.